Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com, and this week we saw that uh, actress Megan Good, who is about to marry a preacher man, uh, was uh, inter- she was interesting. She she spoke up on uh, on the the fact that she is chaste and she's going to um, remain celibate until her wedding night. And then a couple of days later, there was some video with her at her bachelorette party uh, doing this interesting pussycat dolls imitation where she was dressed a little with, a, with, with probably a little less clothing than you would think a preacher's wife would be wearing. Um, and so that led me to ask a question, you know, is there unnecessary pressure on uh, on on the wives of preachers to kind of present an image that might be a little bit unrealistic. So to talk about this, I brought in Dr. Christina Edmondson. Now, it says Micah Edmondson above her name because she is married to a preacher by the name of Micah Edmondson, who you might have seen before. And uh, But Dr. Edmondson is very successful in her own right. Uh, in addition to being the wife of a preacher, she's also a mother of, of two beautiful children, and she is a uh, psychologist. So, uh, Dr. Edmondson, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good, boys. Good. So, wh- what do you think? Um, do you first of all let's ask, let's talk about Megan. When you saw the video that I sent you with Megan Good, you know, at the bachelorette party, I mean, how did that make you feel? What What did you think? Did you think that that was okay, or did you think she maybe went a little bit too far, or what? Well, you know, it's it's a tough call. I, I will say this. I think um, for those of us who are connected to local ministries. Our goal is is for Jesus to have as much attention as possible. And so when we do things, whether or not they're permissible, we have to make sure they're beneficial to the body. Um, and so the, the, some people will argue whether or not she should have done it uh, in terms of morality. And for me, I just think it's a huge distraction because now we're talking more about um, what she's doing on stage than the love of Christ. And that's kind of as a preacher's wife um, or as a minister of the gospel, that's our focus. It's we deny ourselves for the for the good of showing off who our God is. And I think that is where it's getting way too much attention. And for that reason, if not for others about immodesty and things like that, um, I would have said that I would have advised her in love that that should have been saved for another time. Mm, interesting. Okay. So now with that said, um, you know, there, there are people out there who, who say, and by the way, I want to tell people that Dr. Edmondson, uh, is just getting over a cold. So that's why our voice is a little bit different from what you're used to hearing, but I thought I would throw that in there. Um, so, so, but, you. But, you know, but there are people on the other side, uh, Dr. Edmondson, who are saying, um, you know, maybe there's too much pressure on the wife of a pastor. You know, maybe it's it's unfair, unrealistic. Uh, it's not as if she was doing anything that was that bad. Uh, do you do you think that the bar is set extra high for the wife of pastors and, or or preachers, pastors, preachers, reverends, etc.? Uh, okay, you know, do you think right. do you think the bar is set? Uh, high, and if so, do you think that it should be set that high, or do you think that sometimes we, we push it a little bit too far? Right. I think that people have every right to look at Scripture and uh, to look at kind of what God is calling for and to say, I see this or I don't see this. Where where we see too much pressure put on um, preachers' wives, preachers themselves, or preachers' kids is when people start becoming extra biblical and they start, uh, you know, judging us by standards that God doesn't even judge us by. And so, you know, why does she wear hair natural or uh, why do they let their kids wear sneakers to church? Or, I mean, when you start to get into things that are not about um, people's character and about uh, bringing, um, you know, a bad report before the church, People don't have a right to judge about those things um, when it comes to character and it comes to if we're loving people, if we're making an, an honest, honest effort uh, by the power of the spirit to live right, to live holy lives. Then people have a right to examine us. And that's why it's not an easy road um, to, to be clergy or to be the wife of clergy. But um, I would hope that people would would be hesitant and pause when it comes to judging people by standards that God doesn't even judge them by. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Okay. So, um, you know, it, it, that, that's interesting you say that because, it, you know, in, in my mind, I 
I do think that there that, that people for right or wrong seem to have an expectation when it comes to the wives of, right. of preachers or the husbands of preachers as well. Um, in addition to uh, the children of of, of of clergy, right? Um, I'm a PK. My daddy is a pastor, and I've had people I've had people kind of say, "Oh, I'm surprised that you would say that, and you're you're a preacher's kid." And, I, and it's so funny because I don't even think yeah. about that, you know. So okay, so so with a, with a, with a final thought, because I know you have to get back to your children, uh, and and you're, you're a great mom in addition to uh, an esteemed professional woman. You're, you're a successful author across the board. Um, you know, what would you say, uh, you know, in, in terms of advising young women who are going to marry men that are in the spotlight or that are um, that are that are running churches and things like that? I mean, do you, do you feel uh, that there's something that 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 they can kind of learn from this and from you uh, in terms of being prepared for that? Sure. You know, a, a couple of things, and I say this with great humility. One is um, they need to make sure their relationship with God is, is their primary focus. You know, um, we are ambassadors for Christ because what Christ has done for us, that he's given himself up for us. And so we live a life that reflects honor to a person who died on our behalf. And so that's a um, that's a very humbling way to live. And we fall short daily in that. But we're reminded of his grace. That's in full supply for us. The second thing I would say to young women who are connected to, um, you know, who are dating or engaged to pastors is, um, you know, to make sure that they find godly mentorship, that they find other women um, that they can look to um, that will support them in love. That's for anybody. You know, if you're going to be uh, some type of professional, you need mentorship. And likewise, in the church, in the body, we need people who are there to mentor us, mentor, uh, mentor us in love. Um, and compassion and kindness and walk us through what God is calling us to be. And so we can't do that alone. I mean, the body is designed for us to be in connection with other people. Christianity is not, you know, just a, a, a one woman or one person type of thing. We are connected to other people for a reason. Mm. Wow. Well, very wise words. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Edmondson. I really appreciate your time. Thanks, boys. And thank you all for checking us out at yourblackworld.com. And I'm going to keep bringing Dr. Edmondson back to you in the future. Uh, she she uh, has a lot of really interesting things to say about uh, family, uh, about faith, um, and a lot of um, a lot of other things. And I think that she is someone that all of you should know about, as well as her husband, uh, doc, well, soon to be Dr. Micah Edmondson. He's finishing his PhD <laughs> as we speak. And so, so yes, yes, he's, yeah, she's giving him the thumbs up. That's right. Support your man. That, that, I hope that, so. That, pray that, that for him. Awesome. Pray for him. Yes. Well, I, I'm going to tell every, I'm telling everybody in your black world, pray for Dr. Micah Edmondson. So all that, all that prayer has got, <laughs> has got to, to elevate him and make him successful. So, um, so uh, thank you all thank for checking. You. You're, you're welcome. And thank you all for checking us out at yourblackworld.com. And until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. We are gone. Peace.